Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to increase your FPS in Ring of Elysium. So first of all, we will change the parameter inside of the game. And after that, we will go in the config file because in the config file, you have more options that you can change. Right now, the game is not well optimized. I'm doing 120 FPS uh, with my 1070 and my i7 4790K. Uh, it's decent, but you know, I have a 144 Hertz screen. So if you're playing high refresh rate, probably you will need to change your config file. And if you're, you're just, you just have a 60 Hertz screen, uh, maybe you just, you can just change your graphic quality and your aliasing here, and you should be fine with your 60, depending for sure of your computer. If you have an integrate uh, graphic card or, uh, whatever, like a low end uh, PC, uh, you will probably struggle to have your 60 in this game. So first of all, make sure you're playing full screen you will see that uh, you will have a lot of different between window mode and full screen just to play full screen I'm getting 6 FPS make sure that you unlock your v-sync so no v-sync uh, graphic quality LTL easing I'm putting this one at low right now because it doesn't change really in the game you will see a difference in your graphic setting but you will not gain a lot of FPS with this and the re render style I'm using vibrant the other thing that you need to make sure, don't use auto record highlight, it's causing issue in the game. So after that, go where you install the game, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Ring of Elysium, User Data. You want to open the file EU System Setting Config Current with your Notepad++ like this. Please use Notepad++ because in Notepad it's not, you will not have like a nice display like that. And um, and it's free, so just download the Google Notepad++ and you will be fine. So you have all your parameter here, but you want to start here. Veg vegetation Shadow Quality Scaler, please put this one at zero. After th that, Vegetation LUD Scaler, put this one at zero here. Um, vegetation Density, same thing, zero. All the one that normally it's saying 100, just stay at 100. So all the one that by default are at two, put the, those one at zero, test first, look at your FPS. And if you still have issue, go back and you can like just change the number as you want. It doesn't cause like any glitch in the game and you're getting more FPS. It's not crazy. Uh, in the past, I saw a bit more improvement, like when you remove, for example, shadow. Uh, here, for example, vegetation shadow quality. A uh, game like H1Z1, you're getting like 10 to 15 FPS. But in this one, if you change everything in the config file to zero, you will gain 12 to 15 FPS uh, when you play in first-person uh, shooter mode. So that's about it. For now, it's pretty much all the, de the graphic detail are here. It's not a lot. You don't have a lot of option, but still you can improve it and you get your uh, 60 easily. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your CPU, your RAM and your GPU, and I will try to help you the best that I can. Peace, everyone.